the first speaker is a brilliant, brilliant person and, uh, and a personal friend, uh, but don't let that put you off her. So um, she's absolutely amazing. Please give a huge, huge welcome to broadcaster Dil Wickerman Singer. Tara Flynn, now there's an amazing non-gay. Okay, now it's a huge honor to be here today and speak to you today. Um, look, like many of you, I've experienced homophobia in my life. When I was 17, my parents kicked me out of the family home when they found out I was a lesbian. When I was 19, I was fired from my first job, my dream job in Sri Lankan radio, when my boss found out I was gay. So like so many LGBT people around the world, I had to emigrate to find a society that would give me the freedom to be myself. So you can imagine my surprise. When I arrived in Ireland 14 years ago, I was told by a civil servant in a government department, we don't have laws for you people. I was like, what? Okay, all right. That inspired me to reignite my career in journalism and I wrote my very first article back then and it was published in the Gay Community News. And it's really ironic that the same issue that ignited my, my passion in journalism is now posing as my greatest challenge. Because let's face it, the recent decision by the Broadcasting Authority of Ireland has upset and angered us hugely, right? And for me personally, it has upset me personally and on a professional basis because personally I've spoken publicly about my support for marriage equality. My partner and I have been engaged for four years and we are working on marriage equality. So that's on a personal level. Then on a professional level, I am a journalist that reports on social justice issues and covers marriage equality all the time. So come on people, I was like, this is really tough. So for me, like I, quite, I always struggle with this idea of balance. How can you bring balance in a discussion on social justice? Marriage equality is the civil rights issue of our generation. So bringing balance to that is like bringing balance to slavery, to human trafficking, to racism, and to the inhuman direct provision system in Ireland. insensitive but it's actually immoral so and, and this is another thing that I have to uh, consider people like myself before we were broadcasting so many people out here we have taken part in countless TV and radio debates and we've been you know that the person was wheeled out you know with the live life experience and we were made to feel patronized and irrelevant and in the interest of balance most of these experiences are negative for us because usually we find ourselves in a firing line of absolute screaming and shouting and I walk away feeling I felt so depressed and, and, and uh, completely hopeless and I had so many people who would have seen the interview come up to me strangers on the street saying that was too painful to watch I felt really sorry for you so when I became a broadcaster with Newstalk eight years ago I vowed to myself I will never put any of my guests through the misery of being assaulted psychologically and verbally at, at, no, at, at, no, at no time. Because the thing is, when a person comes to, to, to the media and opens up and shares their story, it's such a sacred thing. And you need to support them and help them, you know, tell their story, tell them how, uh, to help them to, get to, to explain how the issue affects them, and most importantly, ask them what they would like to see change for them to live a fuller life. And to have someone on the other side attack them would be absolutely insensitive and would, like as a broadcaster I feel, I have to safeguard the mental health of the guests and the mental health of the people who are listening, which is really, really important, right? So, so, so the interesting thing there is that this BAI decision has sparked a lot of conversation. And in news talk actually, I sat down with my station editor and we tried to figure out what does balance actually mean? It turns out, actually, that every argument or every discussion on marriage equality does not have to descend into a debate of what is right and wrong or what, when it comes to homosexuality and gay marriage. It just means that a journalist has the responsibility to say at the end of the discussion that, look, there are plenty of views out there. This is just one of them. Go out and inform yourself and, and make up your own mind. So we can have the debate. But here's some advice for all of us. We have a long 
road still for the referendum. We have to inform ourselves, learn the BAI guidelines, look at the recent decisions, and learn what the parameters are in which we can have this discussion so we can clearly get our message across between the parameters without defaming anyone, doing it fairly and making sure that we don't fuel the opposing side's efforts to misframe the issue, right? So you need to keep the, the, the message really, really quick. And, and don't forget, you have to use the guidelines yourself. Look, keep your ears and eyes open because you can use the guidelines yourself if there is any discussions that are happening that are unfair. Because this is a two-way street, right? Now, finally, before I go, I have to tell you something. My cousin, Richard de Sousa, okay, he was a well-known journalist in Sri Lanka. He was a human rights activist. He was an actor. He was a poet. And like many very talented people, he was also gay. He spoke out against uh, human rights violations in Sri Lanka and social justice issues, both on an international and national level. And he went, went against the Sri Lankan self-censorship rules that exist down to today. On the 18th of February, 1990, he was having dinner with his mother and the Sri Lankan military death squad burst into his house, arrested him, and one day later, his body, tortured and mutilated, washed up on a beach. He was 32 when he died. He was the first Sri Lankan journalist to pay the ultimate price for his journalistic integrity. And he was the person who inspired me to be who I am today. So, finally, people, finally. My beloved community, we are almost there. Draw the strength of all the LGBT activists and gen the generations that have gone before us. Stand shoulder to shoulder because people of Ireland beautiful bright rainbows are up ahead of us because we are on the right side of history so get